We're getting a little bit of rain. I don't think it's gonna be enough to sheet flow anything, so still haven't seen the permits at work, but I really want to. All right, we're back out here working on rainwater collection again today. Been gone for about a month and really was expecting more. We're kind of in a non-soon season. I mean, the month that I was gone, we only got like two big rains, whereas like last year we were getting big rains almost every day. It's kind of disappointing, a little frustrating. I got this guy set up before I left and there's just nothing in there. Um, we've got, I don't even know, maybe 20 gallons in there. Not even enough to open the ball valve and get out. But it is what it is. So I did pick up on my way back home three more 330 gallon IBC totes. This will give me just under a thousand gallons. And right now our biggest rainwater collection roof is our little hyper adobe and I don't have anything hooked up to it. So we're gonna get that, these totes hooked up over there today. That is the goal. Hopefully we get some rain. It's maybe this next week, but if I can get a thousand gallons worth of water into these tanks to use for construction and stuff, that'll save me about a hundred bucks um, in the long run, which will be great. And though these are only temporary for this spot, any water we can collect is gonna go a big long way. So the goal is to get these hooked up. First thing is I gotta get them taken apart and get them painted to protect them from algae growth. back out here to finish painting our water tanks. Very nervous being here because we've had this rattlesnake that has been taking up home underneath this house and he lives in that hole right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Probably not. Uh, yeah, he lives right there. I have tried to capture him four times. He's got one more chance get in a bucket and get relocated because I cannot have a rattlesnake living under one of our students' dwellings. They tend to come out around dusk, so it does kind of make me nervous working right here for the evening, but I need to get these painted, so we're going to do that and just kind of keep an ear out for rattlesnake popping out at any point. <laughs> it makes life... A lot of fun. A lot of fun over here. The problem with being a homesteader instead of a famous artist. If I was Motherwell, this would be worth $2 million since I'm out alone in the middle of nowhere. Just me doing a shitty painting. All right, come on, monsoon rains. I see you. I see you. I see you. I have clothes on the line right now. I have wet paint. I will leave a tool out. I will leave a tool out if you will just rain. I have all the things you want to rain on my property. Just do it, just do it. You are freaking welcome, Southern Arizona. Monsoons are coming in. I may not be able to see this on camera. <laughs> but it is raining. <laughs> raining, raining. No, no, I'll, I'll put a tool out, don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, I ruined it. I'm sorry. All right, we got our three tanks over here. These things are... They're not super heavy, but they're just very, very awkward to work with. So very happy that they're in place. Was gonna line them up three across, but I didn't really like how it was blocking that window. So we're kind of rearranging a little bit. Next step is to get our drain lines in because 
I really hope that rain's gonna hit us and start filling these guys up. That would be amazing. Get our drain lines in, and then I need to get our outflow in, but that isn't as important uh, because I don't think we're gonna fill up a full tank or all the tanks today for sure. So last night we got a little baby monsoon rain. It started hailing a little bit. I'm not seeing a whole lot of evidence of it. But we're gonna go check on the new rainwater tanks. Thought I got them set up when I did. Did get a little bit though. So, something. To get one of our rain ponds filled up, so that's cool. This guy's our little one, so basically everything that comes down the road fills this up, so. At least we got a little bit. <laughs> it's not doing a whole lot, but every bit counts. What's funny is I was wondering why this didn't fill up while I was gone, because even a little bit of rain should fill this up. And I realized when I left, I left the valve open, which is dumb. <laughs> but we got this filled up, and this is coming along. And the important one, this looks like it's drained already, but to get some water in here, so pretty cool. All right, we're getting somewhere. Uh, we've got probably 110 gallons in there. Still no good rains, but that's at least you know uh, a couple bucks worth of water. And yeah, hopefully before the end of the season, all three of these tanks will be full. That may be a little over optimistic, but one or two good storms and these will fill up. So we got a little bit of a storm, but you can see he's still not. Not much. We're not getting much sheet flow on anything. I'm hoping just at least one good storm to <laughs> see this fill up for this year, but who knows? You can't can't predict the weather, you can't change the weather, you just gotta live with it. It's a little baby guy. I haven't seen one that small. Harvester ant orgies going on today. So this is a guy that I've been really pretty excited about. I've had him for like a week now, I really need to get him in the ground. But this is a pomegranate, and we found him in the unloved section at Green Things, our little plant store in Tucson. And yeah, he's come to the Island of Misfit Toys, because I understand no one wanted him. But it's time to get him in the ground. You can see we just had somewhat okay rain, not really big, but like under the mulch, I mean, we're still just bone dry. So we don't have any real big tanks hooked up over here. So I'm draining one of the 55 gallon tanks into here just to kind of soften up the soil so I can dig a little better and kind of give them a good start. Just it's rough when it doesn't rain out here and everything's so dry. Mm -hmm. 